Hi guys and welcome to day 10 of this 10 day guitar starter course with me Andy Crowley. Now this is the last day in this 10 day course but don't panic we've got loads more structured lessons for you on the YouTube channel and on my website so check those out if you want more of this sort of content but in this lesson we're checking out how to do a blues strumming pattern a blues shuffle riff, which is going to sound really cool, and we're going to be using the song That'll Be The Day by Buddy Holly as an example of all of these things, basically. The chords are really simple. We just have a D major chord, played in the standard way, an A major chord, which I'm playing in my beginner's course fashion, though if you do prefer, three in a line like this will also work totally fine. We have an E major, Nice and standard. And then we also have this new B7 chord, which is a little bit trickier, but we'll cover that. It only happens for one bar, and we'll cover that when we get to it. The main focus is the rhythm and this riff. So the rhythm pattern that we need with our right hand is a shuffle, which we're gonna do down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now you need to be careful here because this needs to sound like a bounce or as we say a shuffle. So we need a one and two and three, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Okay, it needs to be to that rhythm. And you could do that with all downs, one and two and three and four and. And to get this sound to hear our strumming, I'm just touching the strings really lightly with my fingers, not pressing down to the frets, otherwise you get noise, just like this. But it's way more economical to do it a bit faster than just to be really comfortable if we do down and then pause, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Now there's a bit of a rule, certainly for beginner level songs, where we need to keep the down strums on the beat. So it needs to be down, pause, up, down, up, down up down if you're doing down up down up if you were kind of tapping your foot to it and nodding your head your hand would be going the opposite way to your head and it's really it's incorrect for it from a rhythm point of view so we need down up down up down up down up down and two and three and four and and for the chorus we have two bars of the d chord which would sound like one and two and three and then two bars of the A chord. If I just give a really quick demo with a little bit of singing, but I don't want to put anyone off with my singing, so uh, go gentle on me. That'll be the day when you say goodbye, yes. That'll be the day when you make me cry. You say you're gonna leave. You know it's a lie, cause that'll be the day when I die. So what did we do there? Two bars of D, two bars of A, two bars of D again, and then we pause on the A. Let's have a little playthrough of that together. Most people should be able to keep up with this one. Nice, easy chords. In, from a D chord, in one, two, three, four. One and two, three. You say goodbye A chord, that'll be the day. When you make me cry D chord D and two and three and four One strum of an A Cause that'll be the day And we can pause there That'll be the day So I mute it Like this And then up, down On the E chord Up, down, down When I die when I die, up, down, down, up, down on the E, and then there. Let's run through that chorus one more time, and I'll do a bit more of a pause on the chords to allow everyone to keep up. In two, and three, and four. That'll be the day when you say change chords. That'll be the day when you say goodbye. It's a lie, cause one strum on an A and up, down, down. 
And then we have the verse, which is almost the same, we just have a slightly different ending. Pretty straightforward though. Well, you give me all your loving and your eight-core turtle doving, all your hugs and kisses and your money too. You know you love me, baby, until you tell me maybe that someday we'll out. So what was that? Same strumming pattern and one bar of each chord this time. So A, two, three, four. So D, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. And A, two, three, four. If you need more help with this A to D change, because it's virtually the whole song, lesson two in this 10 day course focused exactly on this and it also gave a, a, an easier song example with these two chords here, changing less. But if you just play on the beat, if you're struggling with the strumming, that's totally fine too. So we have that three times, a bar of D and a bar of A. And then if we play A in this fashion, so one, two, three, first finger in the middle, all we do to change to the B7 chord is move this shape up a string, put your first finger on the first fret and little finger on the second fret. So let's have a look at this B7 chord on its own though. One, first fret and the fourth string, middle finger where it is on an E chord, second fret, fifth string, second fret, third string for the third finger and then little finger on the thinnest string. So that's where those three fingers are, two, three, and four. First finger there. And we try not to strum the thickest string. And it's only for one bar. Well, that someday well. And then it's just a bar of E. I'll be blue, yes. And structure-wise, we start with the chorus, go for a verse, chorus, verse, and that's basically the whole song, okay? We just alternate between those two sections. And then there is a little guitar solo instrumental section. It sounds so cool, that bit, where we go for a more standard 12-bar blues, which we'll be covering in a second. But if you can follow the chord sheet that's on the screen now or on my website, if you follow the link in the description, you can play through this whole song exactly like that. And we will have a playthrough in a couple of minutes, but with these basic chords, we can replace them with a little shuffle riff, which is the blues shuffle, really recognizable, and it goes like this. I'm sure every one of you watching this will have heard that at some point and it's very clear in this song. Now this is a little bit of a fast song to go for, for this one but it's great to be aware of it, what it's called so that you can practice it and maybe master it at a later date. So let's have a close up on this blue shuffle pattern now. And we start with our first finger where it is on the D chord when we're playing this shuffle riff on the D and we only strum string four and three and we strum them as one together okay and we keep that shuffle strumming or rhythm on a down strum but we just play those two strings notice how little I'm moving that right hand a very small amount just from the wrist and the forearm is in contact with the guitar now after two of those one and we put our third finger down on the fourth fret so it's gone from first finger second fret to third finger fourth fret. Nothing happens on the D, that's always ringing out. So one and two and three and four and. Or fret numbers wise, two, two, four, four, two, two, four, four, two, two, four, four, two. And then it changes to the A. It's a lie, cause that'll be the day when I die. So, if you wish, you can play this whole song 
and substitute the D and the A chord for this blues shuffle riff. Now, as I say, this is just the starter course. If, uh, if you want more detail on this blues shuffle riff, click the link in the description, or I think it should be up in the top corner now. Free lesson, a free full video lesson of, from my beginner's course, which talks you through exactly this and gives a little bit more time, a little bit more methodical. Here, we're trying to learn this song, really. So let's go back and do the open chords version. So when you know the strumming and the chord sequence, you can then substitute this riff in at a later stage. So let's have a quick playthrough now, just to finish up. Full playthrough from the chorus, starting with the D chord and using a full down, up, down, up, down, up, down. From the top, nice and slow, in two and three and four. One and two, three and four again, two, two and eight. That'll be the day when you make me cry to D. You say you're gonna leave, you know it's a lie. A chord, one strum, that'll be the day. Up, down, down on that part. Up, down, down. And then we have the verse in two, three, and four. You give me all your loving and your ache or two and three. D, D, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. D again. D to A. B7, new chord. Here it is, like this. Well, you know someday. E chord, two, three, two chorus. Well, that'll be the day when you say to A chord, that'll be the day when you make me cry. You'll say you're gonna leave. You know it's one strum of an A. That'll be the day. Up, down, down. Then we have the guitar solo section. Sounds so cool. Now here we play different chord sequence. It's on the screen now. It's called a 12 bar blues. If you need more info on this 12 bar blues, that blues lesson down below is the place to go. But essentially for the, the guitar solo, the chord sequence is as follows. So we have four bars of an A to the strumming pattern. One, two, three, four. So we have in two, three, four, a one, two, three, four, a two, a three. And then we take off our first finger and play an A7 chord. Keep the other two down. And two and three and four and. Sounds really bluesy, that seventh chord. Uh, to a D major chord. Or you could do the the little shuffle groove, and then we go back to an A chord. And then a bar of E. A bar of D. A. And E. So a little bit of a longer sequence for you there. As I say, the chord, full chord sheet for this whole song is in the link down below. But I think any beginner should be able to give that a really good go, even if it's just strumming on the beat. All those chords are very doable. And that is the end of this 10-day guitar taster or starter course, basically. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please check out the rest of the, my channel for a full free beginner's course and my website, andyguitar.co.uk. Please subscribe by clicking that big red button if you like what I do and check out the website andyguitar.co.uk for a free beginner's course. And if you are the kind of person that prefers, you know, physical copies of, of course structure, we do now have my beginner's course available on DVD and in book format. Now this book is brand new, it's just come out and it has everything that you need from the chord diagrams, everything like that, a bit of music theory, but all for absolute beginners taking you from a total beginner level, a total novice, right up to an improver level, and check that out on my, uh, on my website, andyguitar.co.uk, if this sounds of interest to you. There's plenty of bonus content in this and the DVD that isn't available on YouTube or on my website, but there is 
plenty of free content there so if you like that this product may be something that you'll find really beneficial. I hope to see you again guys, thank you so much for checking out this 10 day course and my channel in general. My name's Andy Crowley, take care of yourselves and bye for now.